Crayfish are an old group, been around a long time. And one that has no pigments and no eyes is an obligate, highly specialized organism. There are around 41, 42 species of, of blind white crayfishes. They may look very spindly and very dainty and, and weak, but in reality, these things are pretty tough. They're out here, the, the local streams will have crayfishes that live two and a half to three years maximum, less their life history. But blind crayfishes kick it up to 50, 60, 70 years or more. I think it's part of the adaptations that, you know, we think of some of these very elaborate traits that we begin to see appearing in obligate organisms, some of which include longevity. But loss of eyes, loss of pigments, uh, those are really sort of characteristic things that occur across these major groups of organisms. So it's in response to, to moving underground into that type of environment. To see an organism that has given up so much to live in this environment and altered everything that we think of as a classic surface form to show some of these derived traits that they have that are so different from the surface things and how they modify their life history. It's sort of this channeling of the Spelian environment to, that you end up producing organisms that have so many of these similar sorts of traits. And I, I think a lot of it can be certainly traced back to the energetic problem. You're looking at an environment that has limited energy. They have to make a little bit of food go a long way, and so anything organic. And so what we're talking about primarily in these caves would be leaves and sticks and acorns and walnuts and things like that. And they're getting something from eating that vegetative material. But where they're really gaining their energetic kick is from the microbial community. And it's sort of like the analogy of having a saltine cracker and you, you eat that, and you get a little something, it tastes okay, and you get a little kick from it. But if you take a big slab of peanut butter and go across it, and eat it, then you're really getting the energy. You're really getting something for the effort. And in essence, what happens, the microbial community that begins to coat and break down organic materials, that's the peanut butter, and that's where they're getting the, the real kick.